हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टके टॉपिक आई एम हरिहर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज अबाउट आवर इकोनॉमी अफेक्ट्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस दैट इज कोविड नाइन्टीन इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी हियर द क्वेश्चन इज कैन इंडियन इकोनॉमी रिकवर लास्ट इयर इट वाज फेस्ड मेनी स्लो डाउन इन द मार्केट एंड नाउ द पेंडेमिक हैज रीच सो आफ्टर इनक्रीजिंग द डेथ from this virus all various countries economy are in the sink this virus affects basically in two areas first one is health second one is economy you know whole world is suffering while our nation is not in exception means we are also in trouble before going to the problem we should know which channels are more affecting in the view of indian economy the economic impact on india can be traced through the four channels they are first one is external demands second one is domestic demands third one is supply disruptions fourth one is financial market disturbances first one is external and here external and domestic demands we take external means our neighboring country needs what we are exporting them that is known as external demand for example transferring goods to nepal bhutan and within our territory of nation there is transporting of various goods that may be necessity or manufacturing which we are called domestic demand for example transfer of goods from andhra pradesh to odisha here basically all the developed countries are being suffering their manufacturing and export channels also affecting in india there was continuous slow down in our economy six months which we called negative growth this pandemic not only affecting man mercantile area but also in service exports are in trouble if there is fall in oil prices but still it affecting those who are exporting the goods means there is reducing in the oil prices but which country are pro producing the oil they may affect they are in the affect remittances or the circulation of money slowing down gradually means the circulation of money that is also slowing down and in indian government that india government declared 21 days lockdown you know less in passenger travel also the transport industries roads railways air these are blocked and also the schedule of this uh, passengers railway air they are changing the laying off means the throwing out of non permanent that is non permanent employees has already been started M means basically the uh, mncs or the m m manufacturing industries they are throwing throwing out their employees who are non permanent it, it is also affect, uh, applicable in the service area online trading also reducing retail shops they are also facing problem to transfer their goods nearly 60% of our imports is in the category of intermediate goods intermediate goods means what intermediate goods means the goods which are used in the finished product that may we call uh, uh, like uh, there is uh, there is a phone they there is need various intermediate goods batteries and covers and all these intermediate goods and the, after that uh, that it may in the finished good if the situation is not recover soon there can be a serious decline in the growth rate that 2020 21 and also financial market issues what are the issues in the financial market due to fear of pandemic the stock market in india has collapsed the indices at a 3 years low foreign portfolio investors have shown their nervousness 
and the value of the dollar also falling. The two major tools that are available are monetary and fiscal policy, fiscal action. Monetary policy it is taken by RBI, but fiscal action which is by government of India. You know monetary policy it is related to money, the uh, working now at a greater path of liquidity or credit means um, RBI is doing to spread the means increase the liquidity and there is uh, chances to reduction ahead. Credit may be available but there may not be takers you can say credit may be available but there may not be takers. There is a talk you can lead a horse to water but you cannot make it drink. RBI needs to go back and cut their policy rates but it will act as temporary relaxations and also increasing NPA non-performing assets in the banking industry. Fiscal action this is taken by the government of India. And lastly, I would like to say the measures which are taken by the government of India for every individual that is stay home, stay safe, don't be part of the chain, break it, only break it.